here we have a problem on ratio okay let's go with the question the students of two classes are in the ratio 5 to 7 if 10 students left from each class the remaining students are in the ratio of 4 to 6 then the number of students in each class so the ratio between the number of students in two classes uh, is given that is 5 to 7 okay whenever i want to get uh, the original quantities uh, from the terms of the ratio what i need to do is i have to multiply the terms of the ratio by the same non zero number so here uh, to get the number of students in the first class and uh, number of students in the second class i have to multiply the terms of the ratio here 5 and 7 by the same non zero number by what non zero number should i multiply i do not know so i have to assume the non zero number is x so when i multiply the first term uh, 5 by x i'll be getting 5x so this 5x represents the number of students uh, in class 1 okay now i multiply the second term of the ratio by the same non zero number x then i'll be getting 7x so now 7x represents the number of students in class 2 okay now i got the number of students in class 1 and number of students in class 2 okay once i get the value of x uh, the value of x is multiplied by uh, 5 then we will get number of students in first class and when uh, the value of x is multiplied by 7 we will be getting the number of students in class 2 okay so here uh, so from uh, 10 students are left from each class so after 10 students left from each class uh, what is the number of students in the first class that is 5x negative 10 and uh, the number of students in the second class will be 7x negative 10 because 10 students left from each class so this gives the number of students in the first class this gives the number of students in class 2 okay so the ratio uh, between these two quantities is given in the question that is uh, 4 to 6 so because 4 to 6 is the ratio between the number of students in the, uh, in the two classes after 10 students left from each class okay now uh, uh, we can uh, write uh, each ratio as a fraction so then we'll be getting 5x negative 10 over 7x negative 10 equals to on the right side we get 4 over 6 okay so this ratio can be simplified that is uh, 2 goes into 4 twice 2 goes into 6 thrice so i'm getting 5x negative 10 over uh, 7x negative 10 equals to 2 over 3 okay now uh, we have to solve for x in this equation so for that we can do cross multiplication so this numerator 5x negative 10 is multiplied by 3 and i'll be getting 3 times of 5x negative 10 on the right side so 2 is multiplied by the denominator on the left side that is 2 times uh, 7x negative 10 Okay, when I distribute this 3 to this one, it will be 15x. Uh, 3 to uh, when I distribute this 3 to negative 10, it will be negative 30. And 2 times 7x is uh, 14x. And 2 times uh, negative 10 is negative 20. Okay, now we have to solve for x for that. Uh, actually, x appears, the variable x appears on both sides of the equation. Okay, let's uh, get rid of the variable on the right side. For that, I have to subtract 14x from both sides. Then I'll be getting uh, the for positive 14x, negative 14x will cancel out. The simplification of this one is just x, negative 30 equals to negative 20. Okay, to solve for x, I need to add 30 to both sides. Positive, negative 30, positive 30 will cancel out. I get x equals to the simplification of this one is just 10. Okay, now I got that uh, non-zero number is uh, just 10 because we have assumed x as a non-zero number. So I got uh, x equals to 10. Okay, now when I multiply, uh, so when I have to plug in x is equal to 10 uh, into this 5x to get the number of students in class 1. So 5 times 10 will be 50. The number of students in the first class is 50. When I multiply, when I plug in x is equal to 10 into this one, that is 7 times 10, it will become 70. The number of students in class 2 is uh, 70. So the number of students in, uh, is the correct answer uh, for this question is option D.